day here so i spent the morning and um, the kiddies went to kids club and spent the morning sitting by the window as you saw um in the cafe having a hot chocolate and a nice latte and i was just actually doing some work so brought my laptop on holiday because it's a working holiday for me oh, i don't tend to take time off work um i just sort of slow down a bit so um yeah i was just doing a bit of work editing some youtube videos and other bits that come in not a lot and then we went and had lunch by the pool uh it's a bit rainy today it was it was warm but a bit rainy and a bit overcast and um i don't know if you can probably see here but i got really sunburned yesterday on my back so that's quite painful and that's because I asked my daughter, my 12 year old, to do the sun cream on my back. Um, I don't like getting sunburned. Um, yeah, so it's quite painful. So I didn't really want to sit out anyway. So yeah, after, after lunch, <sighs> I took the little one back to our cabin. So he's had a really nice sleep now. I slept for about three hours. I had a little snooze. I brought my sewing kit and I altered um, one of the girls' dresses for um, smart evening, black tie evening tonight. And she wanted to wear that. And now Tubby was like with the other kids and by the pool and stuff. And now it's nearly five o'clock. So he's gone to get them out of kids club. Um, he'll take them to kiddies tea while I get ready for the evening. So um, yeah, I'll try and take you around the ship a little bit this evening because I'm conscious I haven't filmed hardly anything today. Um, we're going to go to our favourite bar, I think, the Crow's Nest. Um, I've still got a book. I'm still reading my book. I haven't read it at all today. I don't think I read it yesterday either, and I'm really into it. I'm reading uh, the latest um, Robert Galbraith, the Cormoran Strike novels. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I don't know, but it's the latest one. Um, and it's really good. Um, Hubby's been reading his book. He's been reading The Twyford Code, um, which is the second time he's tried to read it. And he's just finished it, he said. So there's a library on the ship, which actually is just um, off the Crow's Nest, our favourite bar. So he's going to pop in and get another book. Uh, we'll sit there and have a drink or two. And then there's a... Um, acrobatic show I think on in the theatre wouldn't mind watching and of course we'll have dinner um I need to choose which restaurant we're gonna eat dinner in tonight um and then tomorrow we're stopping in St Vincent and we've got a tour booked actually an excursion uh we're going to see a volcano so that'll be interesting but yeah um bit of a sorry <laughs> Ugh, bit of a boring day not boring for me, totally relaxing, but boring for you. So I mean, have a lovely day. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll show you a bit of our evening now. This one is joining us for our glamorous black tight evening. Excited? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go out for dinner. See a show. Are you gonna come and sit in Mummy and Daddy's nice bar? Yeah. Get a book out of the library. You can sit there and look out the window if you like. I'm wearing this long skirt. I'll pop some I think I'll pop some silver shoes on. Even though I quite like these ones. No, I'm going to wear these ones. I like these. And yeah, just got washing in the washing machine and then um, swapped it to the dryer. In my, in my glad rags doing that. And then um, sort that out, bring it back to the room and off we go for dinner. <laughs>
family. How's your first uh, posh hotel? That's pretty good. It was good. Julian embarrassed us slightly. What can you do? Did you prefer a night out with your parents or kids' club? Uh, no, with the parents. No, shame. This is the last one for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs>